Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Hey everybody, it's Alex. It is the Ramble, and we go from now until uh, uh, the midnight Eastern Daylight Time. Ah, oh, boy, I'm uh, boy, my uh, what is it here? How how? Oh well, yeah. I was looking at my CPU usage <laughs> is is ridiculous tonight. I just thought I'd mention that. You know. But, doesn't really matter. Listen, I you know what happened this week? Um, usually I plan the first half hour of the show to have an interview of one sort or another. And unfortunately, uh, uh, there were a couple of things that went wrong. Uh, number one, uh, my wife, my ex-wife, Ronnie, who usually does a thing with me about once every two weeks, uh, she had a computer break. And so I didn't have her on this week. I had in the in the uh, in the bag uh, an interview with uh, with the uh, bubbles, which I ran last night, and then I found out I have nothing tonight. So here I am to talk with you, and I, you know, I really would rather just. Yeah, I'm I've gotten really lazy. Okay, uh, I I don't know why that when I did a, uh, a a show a couple of weeks ago on a Sunday night at ten o'clock, which is kind of a usual time for me. Uh, uh, for uh, my friend uh, Walter Sterling over there on Westwood One, that I was just all enervated and 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 uh, excited and and whatever, but I come on here and I go, ah. you know. So anyway, so so tonight I have nothing really to talk about, although I can talk about my day a little bit, okay? Uh, because it was not, an, again, another non-exciting day in the life of Alex Bennett. Let me say this, that when I was a big shot, uh, I had a lot of exciting things to talk about because I was out and about and I was doing stuff. But since I haven't been working and since nobody really cares about me anymore and I never get calls from anybody to do stuff, uh, I pretty much stay here in, in the house doing nothing. All right. And consequently, I have no adventures to talk about. So the adventures I have to talk about are some of the dullest things you can possibly imagine. Uh, so let me uh, let me see here. What do I? So uh, uh, what 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 happened today? Uh, anything happened today? Uh, well, I went I went to physical therapy. You know, I've had this thing with my feet being numb, and then the feet themselves hurting when I walk a lot. And uh, the, the physical therapist finally determined that one did not have to do with the other, that they were two separate issues, and that he understood how a blocked nerve could be causing the numbness in the toes. He just couldn't understand what was happening on the rest of the foot when I was walking, and he decided that I had like plantar's fasciitis or whatever it's called, or fascistus or fasciitis, whatever. And um, so he gave me, you know what he gave me? Uh, last week, he gave me a parting gift. He always gives me parting gifts, rubber bands, things like that, right? Uh, but he gave me this. Uh, what is that? It's a golf ball. Yes, he wants me to take up golf, and he thinks it'll help my... No. Here, the reason he gave me the golf ball, he says, put this down on a, piece, on a towel, and then put it down on the floor, and then rub your, uh, you know, just rub your foot on it. Uh, roll it back and forth under your foot. And so I find, he says, do that about five minutes on each foot per day. And I find that while I'm doing the show, if I do it, uh, I'm getting it all done and I don't have to really pay attention to it. But it really makes it feel much better. So I've been, I've been feeling better uh, in that part of the foot. But, of course, I still have the numbness and I have to see my neurologist next week. So, you know. See, so that's what I'm saying. My excitement isn't like, Hey, so I went over and uh, Woody Allen and I hung out. Or I went to this thing and boy, did I have a good time with it or what. No, none of that. It's, uh, look, my foot, I, I'm so happy. The biggest thing that happened to me is this, uh, is this golf ball that's good for my feet. 
By the way, I may go to the phones early tonight because I don't have that much to talk about. I mean, I have stuff to talk about, but I'd rather talk about it with a citizen panel, as it were. Okay. So anyway, so I went to the uh, I went to the uh, 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 to the physical therapist. When I was through there, I was going to go home with the girlfriend. So I went over to her office, which is like next door to where I I get my physical therapy. And all of a sudden, I looked and I had a message from uh, from Apple, and they said that my Mac Mini was ready. All right. Now, as you in case you don't know this history of this. Uh, I, I plugged the Mac Mini into a wall socket about a week ago, and sparks flew out of the uh, out of the out of the cord. Just boom, went crazy. So and it wouldn't turn on, wouldn't do anything. All right, it did a little something. The light went on, fan went on, nothing else. All right. So I'm expecting the worst. So I I take it down to Apple. But I don't take it down immediately to Apple because in order to make an appointment with their genius bar, it's like the closest appointment we have is next Wednesday, and this is like Saturday or something like that. So I wait, and I finally go down there, and they say, well, it, it, there's something there. It's, some, it's obviously wrong, and leave it with us, and we'll fix it for you because we're the genius bar. Okay. So I leave it with them, and they said, it'll take a couple of weeks. Well, it took only a couple of days before they told me that they found what was wrong and that uh, they felt they said they could start it right up. They got it to start up and everything, but that the logic board, which is uh, about a $250 item, uh, that everything was fine with it except the audio coming out of it. Well, <laughs> you know, for what I do, I need the audio more than I need any other part of it. So I said, uh, now I gotta have that. So put in the uh, logic board. Okay, so they put in the logic board along with their, their fee for doing so. And uh, I, uh, I bring the whole thing home and uh, I'm playing around with it. And I suddenly realize that my main hard drive doesn't seem to have as much memory as it should have. And then I check it out and I find out that I've only got like 120 megabytes of me uh, gigabytes of memory. Well, what's that all about? Well, what that's all about is my hard drive wasn't working. This is what they call a fusion drive, and it has a flash drive and also a uh, hard drive, and they work in conjunction with each other. And the stuff that you use the most and all the startup stuff is on the, on the flash drive so that it, it starts up really fast. It's wonderful. But there was no hard drive there. So uh, I then get in the cab and... Go down to the Apple Store, which is on the uh, on the west side, uh, 167th Street. I'm up here on 116th, and uh, I, uh, I I say, hey, it, it's broken, and the guy says, well, you have to wait an hour and a half to see somebody, and I went, they told me on the phone that I could just come down and you would just take it in and and find fix it for me because. Obviously, you didn't fix it. You fixed it with an error, and the error was the hard drive isn't attached. So he said, well, let me talk to my, my supervisor. You know, like the geniuses don't have any individual will. They have to go to their supervisor. And the supervisor said to me, ah, we'll get somebody on it right now. I sit here. Somebody will be out in 15 minutes. Five minutes later, somebody comes out. I tell him the whole problem. He says, okay, it'll be about three to five days to be able to fix it. Uh, but uh, I said, I don't think it's a hard drive because we have all the statistics here when it was first brought in, and it says the hard drive recognized the hard drive. So I went, okay, well, you guys just do whatever you're going to do your magic. So then I didn't hear from yesterday, but today I hear from them. They say it's ready, and I go down, and they come out with it, and they say, well, here it is, and I went, oh, great. They say, well, just one thing, we had to replace the hard drive. And here's the bill for it. And the bill was $199, but you don't have to pay for it. I went, really? They said, no, you don't have to pay for it because we have a policy here at Apple that if you brought something in for repair and then it left here and we didn't repair it, then it's on us to make it work. So we're paying for the hard drive and the installation of the hard drive and that this paperwork is just simply for tax purposes right and I went 
you know, this doesn't happen very often that I get something free from Apple. You know, you're lucky if you can get $5 off on anything from Apple, but getting something free from Apple. So I have a new hard drive now in my, my uh, mini, Mac Mini. But if you think about it, I had a, uh, uh, the logic board put in, and I had a new hard drive put in. Basically, I've got a new Mac Mini. <laughs> yes, I've got a new Mac Mini. So uh, I'm... Uh, so I've been spending all evening trying to re-put the stuff on it because obviously I didn't back it up because it was like a machine I was puttering around with and I, I, there was nothing important on there. So if I had a backup, I, I could just back it up to the way everything was with all the programs in it. But instead, I just, I've just i redone it and uh, it, it's, it's working okay. You know, it's working all right. And it is, it's a great little machine. You know, I, you know I, 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 it's the most expensive Mac Mini. I bought it from Phil, uh, and it was like he paid almost $1,400 for it, and I, uh, I, I, I'd like to use the term Jewed him out of it, uh, because, uh, but he's a Jew too, so we can both use that term. Uh, but I, 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 I sold him 300 bucks, okay, and he said, fine. Because Phil's a nice guy. I'm sure Phil would probably have given it to me for nothing if I didn't want to pay for it. But, you know, I wanted to give him something. So in total, I've invested close to $700 in this thing. But it's, all, it's brand new, practically. There's, uh, there's no part in there. I think, you know, like the fan is the old fan, okay? Uh, and that's about it. Everything else, brand new. The case is the same case, but, you know, new logic board, which when they put the logic board in, that's also all the inputs are hooked on to the logic board. So uh, I've got this, uh, pretty much this brand new, spanking new machine. And uh, I love it. It's faster. You know, I've got this Mac Pro here, uh, which I love, which I've used for years. I bought it in 2000, I think 2011, all right? So it's uh, seven years old, and uh, uh, it's it's a workhorse. I mean, the, these Mac Pros were workhorses. The knock on wood, you know. Uh, but I got to tell you, this little piece of stuff, which replaces this three thousand dollar machine, or I compare against this three thousand dollar machine, is so much faster and zippier and everything. Um, and and I think they're probably going to come out with a new Mac Mini this year. Uh, so I can hardly wait to see what they do. They, they're thinking of coming out with what they call a Mac Mini Pro, something like that, you know, whatever. So, mm. so that it, see, that's my excitement for, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So now I leave. Now, I got to tell you, today in New York, it was sweltering. You know, I dreaded going to physical therapy because I have to get out of the subway and walk about five blocks Two of them, three of them, uh, avenues, which if you've ever been in New York, you know how long avenues are, okay? It's like three streets and three avenues. And uh, it is sweltering. The real feel is something like 101 degrees. I look at my watch, it's 92 degrees, but the real feel is probably somewhere around 101, 102. And I go and I do this, and then I, then I, then I, then I, schlep all the way over to the west side taking a sub walking to a subway another three avenues and three streets to get to that uh, and maybe it was four avenues in this particular case to get to the subway and then i take the subway which if you've ever been in a subway in new york on a 92 degree day you know how unbearable it is now years ago they used to have fans in the subway now, a fan is kind of like, you know, it's like spitting on somebody when they're, when they're trying to cool down. It, it does, you know, it's not great, but it's something. And, you know, they've done nothing to make air blow through those subways. So the only thing that happens in the subways that's a relief against the cold, ready for this, is the subway coming because it pushes wind down through the tunnel and you get this breeze that suddenly hits you as the train goes by. Now, that's one of the trains going by. You're still waiting for your train, which hasn't gotten here yet. And once you get into the subway car 
all of a sudden, life is wonderful because the air conditioning is working incredibly. Now, that's one of the reasons why the subways in New York, ready for this, are so damn hot. Because they're all these subway cars with air conditioning. Now, what does air conditioning do? You ever been on the other side of an air conditioner? Yeah, it's hot as hell. Why? Because it's spewing out moisture, hot moisture. And so what happens in these subways is they wouldn't be as hot if the subway cars somehow found a way of air conditioning without venting. But the fact that they vent only adds to the heat, and that's why it is so fucking unbearable. All right? So I got on the, uh, on the, on the, on the train, and I go down to, to uh, uh, get off uh, at uh, 66th Street, Apples and 67th. And I go over there. I'm feeling like I should be living there. Uh, be, I'm feeling like I should be living there because uh, I've been there so much in the last couple of days. And I got this good news that uh, they had put in a new hard drive, but don't worry about it. It's on us. It's on Apple. It's on uh, the, uh, the, 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 the ghost of Steve Jobs, okay? Uh, I then get out and I go, look, do I want to get back in that subway? Because it was also on top of everything. It was crowded. Do I want to go back down there? wait for a train for at least five minutes in that unbearable heat and then get on a train with a bunch of people's armpits in my face. And I go, ah, you know what? Uh, I, you know, I, I'm not going to live forever. I don't need every penny I've got, I don't think. So uh, I'll take a cab. Wrong. Bad idea. We'd start going down Broadway, and traffic is at just really slow. So I say, why don't we go up to uh, Central Park West and just take Central Park West down, because Central Park West always kind of is moving, right? Well, we try to go up a street, and all of a sudden it's blocked off by, of all things, folks, today was the first day of school in New York, I think, and the school buses just blocking the whole street, gridlock. So he goes right, and then he goes left a couple of blocks, and then he turns on to Central Park West, and we figure it's going to be easy peasy. No way. There's a fire, and there are fire trucks, and no traffic is moving, and I'm sitting there as the meter is starting to tick away. All right? And then we get past the fire trucks, but now we've got school buses up the yin-yang. Will you people stop having fucking kids? So uh, uh, it was just one thing or another. It took me, I would say, 45 minutes to get home on a trip that usually would take about 10, 15 minutes. The cost of that trip, because I've done it before coming back, was something like, Fifteen dollars came to twenty-eight bucks. Okay, so uh, but I saved all that one hundred ninety-nine bucks at the Apple Store. So I don't know. I just you know it just it was one of those days that made me feel kind of all agita filled, but maybe also feel wonderful. Also, I mean, I went to my Ther physical therapist and he's actually been getting some work done I mean I'm feeling better and last year when the I had the torn meniscus he worked on that and now it's not even bothering me you know so I really uh, uh, I, I like this guy he's good he's really good uh, he turned me over to somebody else there and that wasn't working out so I got him back and uh, it, it's working out pretty well so uh, next week I go to the the, uh, the uh, neurologist to see what what's up with the uh, with the uh, with the toes and things like that, and hopefully you see what I would wish he'd do for me. I mean, this is the only reason I go to doctors. I don't go to doctors because I'm in pain. I go to doctors because I'm in pain, and they're going to give me some kind of drug that's going to make me feel really good. But he didn't give me anything. He said, "Go see a physical therapist." So I'm uh, and come back and see me in two months. So I'm going to, when I see him, I'm going to go, you know, you, you, got, you got medicine. Can't you do something about the numb feet? You know, so uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. You probably, you know, 
give me, give me. How about some? Um, oh, I don't know. Some real. See, I'm at my age. Uh, they can give me anything they want to. If I become a junkie tomorrow, does it matter? No. Okay. So I have to go to this uh, this uh, uh, neurologist, and he, I guess he's okay. He's over at Mount Sinai. You know, I don't know what I would get from another neurologist, but this this guy he seems to know what he's doing. He's been around for seventy years. You'd think he learned something. My question is, if you have a doctor. Do you want a young one or an old one? Because with an old one, you've got a guy who's seen everything, right? You know, you can just pronounce what's wrong with you and he'll, he knows exactly where it probably is, all right? Uh, but a young guy is up on all the latest stuff, okay? So I really wonder whether, whether, whether you go for an older doctor or a younger doctor. And uh, the first prejudice I had against this guy is that he was a bit on the old side, you know. Uh, and then they, they gave me, and this is terrible for me to say. My doctor gave me the choice of two doctors. Uh, this one who is very experienced and is over at Mount Sinai. And then another per woman, a woman who is over at Mount Sinai. And I went, well, a woman wouldn't be bad. And then I looked at her, and she looked in the photograph to be awfully geeky looking. And I guess I was kind of prejudiced about that. Is that terrible of me? So I went with a guy. I, I didn't know what to do. I just needed a, I needed a neurologist, and uh, these were the two my doctor gave to me. You know, usually they give you their friends is what they do. So, you know, uh, I love this. I love this golf ball. It just makes my foot feel so good. Oh, it's amazing. So anyway, uh, I got other stuff to talk about, and I, want, I hope Renee will call. Here's why I want Renee to call. Because last night we were talking about Woody Allen. And uh, she and the panel came up with some, what we would call wrong um, uh, uh, information about the Woody Allen situation as regarded Soon Yi. And I have the actual information, the correct information, by a guy who wrote an article Kind of, def kind of defending Woody Allen. It's called. Uh, uh, hold on a second. I got to get my glasses because it's small. Um, it is called uh, the Woody Allen allegations. Not so fast. Uh, and it is written by. Let me get the guy's name. Uh, Bob Weed. Weed. Uh, Bob Weed. Weedy. I guess it's pronounced. You've, you've seen his name. He's an Oscar-nominated, Emmy-winning filmmaker whose documentaries have covered the Marx Brothers, W.C. Fields, Mort Saul, Lenny Bruce, Woody Allen, and Kurt Vonnegut. He's also executive producer and director of the HBO series Curb Your Enthusiasm. And he tweets mostly nice things on at Bob Weed. So anyway, he wrote this thing, and it's really kind of a defense of Woody Allen. Uh, supposedly Ronan Farrell was incensed by it and wrote them and said, oh, he doesn't know what he's talking about, and blah, 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 but you know what I think of Ronan Farrow, so. In fact, the, even in this article, it, it, and I'll read it to you, a, a piece of it to you, he talks about Ronan Farrow and whether uh, he could be Frank Sinatra's son and pretty much proves that he is. So I think that's why Ronan Farrow didn't like this article that much. Ronan can give it. He can't take it. That's what his problem is. So anyway, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to open up the uh, the line, see if anybody's going to call us tonight. They, they might, you know. Last night was a little on the slow side. Uh, but, uh, uh, but And Renee, if you can, give us a call because I'd like to uh, uh, impart this information to you. Um, I think you would uh, find it elucidating. Uh, and it's it's ten facts about Sun Yi, not just a couple. All right, uh, boy, am I sick of Skype. Always putting up these signs saying, "Hey, you want to get the new Skype? You want to get the new Skype?" No, I don't want the new Skype, you motherfuckers. Anyway, uh, our uh, number uh, is um, um, 
if if you want a, it, it it well it's gabnet live is where you go on skype and if you want the phone number just go over to gabnet live and they'll uh, they'll tell you what it'll tell you the phone number you can call if you don't want to use skype here he is ladies and gentlemen alive and well yeah so so you fix the uh, hard drive of my mac mini okay send it back uh, yes yeah. <laughs> oh, what you, what what it was bad when you had it <laughs> no <laughs> i used to think i'd give you i imagine it blew when all the rest of the stuff blew you know uh, well they said it worked right yeah, well no they said it worked when they got it so they're taking credit for breaking it Okay. Uh, I I bet you what worked was the flash drive. Oh, Renee, if you're going to call me, you got to call us on an, a new line. She was trying to bring it up on the old, on an old uh, group uh, from the last show. So, uh, uh, Renee, uh, it's uh, it, give us a call. Uh, yeah, yeah. See, see that, folks. She's trying to call and I can't uh, put her on. So, yeah. well, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Answering this call, put your oh, are you there? Oh, did we lose Phil Meyer? Phil, no, I'm I'm you, here. You're you're there. Wait a minute. Yeah. Hold on a second. Okay, there we go. Here comes here comes Renee Collins. Okay, let me add her to the group. Uh, hello there, Renee. Aloha. Hello. Hey, Phil. I'm, I'm dying to see your photo. <gasps> and he's back. Welcome back. It's so good to see you, Scott. Yeah, we were. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't being facetious. I really know what happened last night, Phil. Not. Phil, you <laughs> you weren't here. By the way, why did we why did we suddenly lose uh, a lot of video I viewers? I'm uh, sorry, I, I don't know why we. Uh, I uh, I, I saw what happened last night, but go ahead and uh, 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 anyway, what I was going to say is we've we just we it. we've just gone down to like we've lost uh, a third of our of our viewers. What happened? What Scott Renee's came on? One, per one person signed <laughs> off. One person signed off. No, yeah, yeah, that's about what's happening. Well, to hell with you. Fuck all of y'all. Okay. Anyway, uh, last night you weren't here, and and Scott got bothered by 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 Patrick, so he hung. No, up. I I I listened to it, and I think that what happened was Scott didn't want to get angry. Yeah, and yes, you're right. Said, you're absolutely right. Hey, you know, I like Patrick that's too exactly much. Exactly right. I didn't want to get I, pissed off. Right. No, I, I like Patrick, and I don't uh, want to get pissed no, off, and I don't want to. Yeah. So you know that's how he handled it. I, you know, you have to respect. How can him you for like it. Patrick though? He's a creep. No. Well, ah! <laughs> you know, he's always rolling over people. Yeah, yeah. He's just, he's a, yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm in a wheelchair. Uh, uh, yeah, pity me. Get pity out of me. my way. Yeah, get out of I my think way. He's at Walmart yeah, or something. Uh, Costco. One of, one of the people on those electric things at Costco. They're always nasty yeah. and mean. So, yeah. Phil, do we get to see the photo? Uh, they take the photo. I placed first and second in the color category, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm in basic, and they don't move me up until a higher category uh, for the, for a year. So oh, the, year's, the year will be up in December, and then they'll put me in intermediate, and then and then you'll uh, start losing the masters. Th then you'll start losing like crazy. Yeah. Well, yeah, there's some, there's some really, It's really kind of like when guys. I was a kid. When I was a kid, I, they, they sent me to high school. And for some yeah. reason, I don't know, the school s sent the records and said I was kind of retarded. <laughs> 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 really, I'm serious. Oh, right. You know, so they put me in, like, the easier classes. You know, when you go into school, they, they have the, the easier classes. The keys and the, and, and yeah. The, yeah. Yeah, so I'm in, I'm in the... I'm getting straight fucking A's. I'm acing every <laughs> test. I'm not studying for him. I'm doing great, right? Yeah. And all of a sudden they go, he's not retarded. <laughs> and all of a sudden I went down to a C. You know, so uh, he's not retarded. So that's what's going to happen to you with this photography. They're going to put you in. They got you on the, on the short bus, but now they're going to put you on with the regular kids. Well, what happens is uh, if you do take uh, first or second or even third, uh, they send it to a thing called N4C. Now, N4C, and you can look them up, N4C.org, uh, that's 14 Northern California uh, 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 photo clubs. And then, so if I win wow. at the Rossmore one, then they send it to this one, and I compete against 14 other clubs. And I've taken first place, best to show, things like that. Uh, so, you know, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm doing okay. 
sometimes I'm uh, a little short on uh, something to submit, you know. I, I, yeah. You know, you submit your good stuff first that you've archived, and well, what are you going <laughs> to hear? What are you going to do when you get off the short bus, though? Uh, I just have to step up my game, you know. And uh, what it does is it forces you to go out and shoot stuff. Number one, wow. and number two, uh, you get critiqued, and uh, the critiques help. Uh, now, you know, it's it's just one person's a professional judge. They pay these judges. Uh, twice a month to come to our meeting and because uh, we have two meetings a month and we submit uh, uh, the photographs uh, twice a month uh, in the different categories and uh, the so these professional judges will critique your stuff some judges like this thing some judges like that thing but you know you, you'll learn and you find out what they're looking for and what you can do to improve yes you have three judges uh, one judge uh, uh, a night uh, per meeting. So the, the wow. Sorry, yeah. I'm on the website now, and I just my jaw just dropped on this one photo. Oh, the n4c.org. It's n4c.org or .us. And I think it's .org. Yeah. Well, yeah. It just amazes some. It do do you ever talk about? Okay, because I'm old, and this is going to be an issue for me, and I'm going to have to get over it. Over processing or under processing? Yeah, there, there's, a, there's a category that I refuse to participate in, and it's like uh, 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 it's called pictorial. And what they do is people Photoshop the shit out of stuff and they saturate it, and they and, and I don't believe that that's photography. I believe that that's. Oh, I um, think you're absolutely uh, wrong, Phil. No, no, well, it could I, be I art. It's no, wait a minute. Arts. Hold on a second. No, hold on a second. No, I, I'm, I think you're completely yeah. wrong. All you're doing uh, by enhancing a picture and adding color to it and doing things like that is the same thing you would do in a dark room. Yes uh, and no. No, yes. Uh, yes, it yeah, is the same okay. as you would do in a dark but, room. That's exactly what Photoshop was created for, was to be a dark room for digital. Well, I, and, I, and I use a, a form of Photoshop called Lightroom. But the, uh, but the thing is, is, you know, doing these oversaturations and using filters and things like that, as far as I'm concerned, is, is graphic <laughs> art. And graphic art and photography, uh, I don't believe, are the same things. You know, if I was well, going to sit there with a pen on a Wacom no, and but, draw but, but on I, a picture. I always felt that when you took a picture, and I was a photographer too. I know that. that and, and the same was true with video, that once you were th through shooting it, you, were doing the, you got the basic job done. The next job was to take it and, and crop it and uh, enhance it and do some dodging if it was, you know, black and white and so on and so forth. You know what I'm talking about, Jeff? Right. Uh, oh, and, yeah. and, and that was I even dodge and I burn felt, in color. I felt that was a way to really uh, do the art. And when Photoshop came along, I said, well, all this really is is the same thing I've always been doing, except I'm doing it digitally here. Yeah. yeah, I do think it should be in a separate category, though, which it is. So, and I, sort and, of I and I do think it's art as well. So, if we're going to go down this weird ass direction, this might get a phone call from Damien. Has anybody ever seen that fractal art? Um, I think I've heard of it. I, I I'm not sure. What is it's, it? It's weird art. It's it, they take a sp normally. Well, I say space because they all look like outer space to me, mm -hmm. and and then they tweak it and then they do a whole bunch of stupid stuff to it and then they throw it up on the on the web saying that this is art and i just don't understand how the fractal and it fractal means something and it's a process and stuff like that but if anybody ever gets a chance to look it up please educate me because yeah. i've had people yeah. try to tell me it's art and i'm like mm. yeah but you know people they take these pre-made these preset filters and things like that and then they submit it and, uh, you know, if you're going to sit there and dodge and burn, I'm keep all for that. Keep talking because I want to go get my iPhone, right. okay? Uh, sure. This is, this is the basic stuff of, of photography is to develop, to dodge, to burn, even, even to uh, oh, combine. Oh, I that was. Yeah, see. Right. <laughs> well, I'm old school. I had a dark room. Oh, I threw that stuff off 30 yeah. years ago or yeah. more. And that's yeah. why I prefaced the whole conversation because... I have seen some amazing photojournalists do incredible work, and they have no problem with the post-photo production. Well, and see, I need to get over that because 
it doesn't make a sense because I'm just holding on to something. So they're, if they're out there. It's beautiful. It's wonderful work. I, and it's just something in me that never... But, but, you know, Ansel Adams had took the photos, and he had a darkroom person. Oh, Ansel, person. Adams, Ansel Adams, besides developing zone uh, uh, photography, he, uh, if you look at a picture, one of his most famous pictures is Sunrise over Hacienda, Hacienda Sunrise. Mm -hmm. uh, and that picture, if you looked at the basic negative, that would have ended up in my garbage bin. And he uh, combined stuff and, and put the sunrise and all these other things in there to make, uh, you know, one of the most renowned photos uh, of our time. Okay, and I should be embarrassed. The guy who does his dark room stuff is pretty famous. I should know his name. But he, he did, and so when he got to the point where he was out there shooting all the time, he would turn it over to his dark room guy and, and they would work on it together, which is just crazy to have well, a dark man uh, guy but he had the he could envision yeah. what he was trying to create even though he had maybe somebody doing the physical stuff which i wasn't aware that he did shot. Yeah. <laughs> should be shot for not knowing this stuff. so yeah so i'm competing with those uh, that n4c thing and that's some pretty tough stuff hmm. and, yeah well so are you doing any black and white yes uh one of the categories is monochrome uh, but you know, I shoot in color, and then uh, in in um, uh, Lightroom, I can just click and turn it into black and white. And uh, you know, there are some other programs like uh, Nick uh, uh, Nick Software, which has a lot of black and white uh, uh, editing tools. And, yeah. yeah. So, well, uh, I'm sure this is of interest to everybody. Hi, <laughs> <And> Mr. <laughs> Renee. <laughs> Uh, my my wife. Change. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes, so Jeff. Okay. Yes, Jeff. Oh. Mm -hmm. And the best thing she does is she uses her Apple cell phone. iPhone. <laughs> oh, some of the best a pictures. Cheap one. I mean, I'm talking about the five or something. Some of the yeah. best pictures I've ever taken. I took. I've taken yeah. on an iPhone. I, I. You know, I only laugh because you can't knock it. Is that what she tells you? You she can't. won a whole bunch of awards on that. Right. Uh, it, it's it's not the camera. It's the person's vision and eye. But the camera helps when you got low light or, uh, you know, you, and you want to over overcome certain obstacles or you need speed. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. So you should have to show us some of Take us. A, oh, well, you have a desktop. Sometime you should bring your art, her art or photos over to the computer camera. So yeah, I, I've, I've probably got about 20 or 25 of them in the living room laying up against the wall. <laughs> well, I want to see the MMA ones because you were pretty close for those. You should have some really sweaty, disgusting look, stuff. Look, yeah, I did. Uh, look at the Facebook page, my Facebook page. I can't. But, uh, they kicked me out. Oh. Have to fix <laughs> they kicked you out of Facebook? <laughs> <laughs> they cut my ass off after I said Joel Olstein. Uh, so the quote was... You said something appropriate. Right, it was. I did, and and the quote was, "God couldn't make Joel Olstein open his church for the people of Houston, but Twitter did." Yeah, and but they hated that. that you know, Joel Olstein has nice carpet. You know, you, you wanted him to. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Yeah. And that wasn't even hard. There was not even a, a bad word in that one, but they didn't think it was funny. <laughs> so somebody complained. Is that yeah. Bad? So they banned me from Facebook for a little while, and I never went back. That's funny. <laughs> banned from Facebook, you and Alex Jones. Uh, yeah. Oh, he just. If I don't know how Marco Rubio did not punch. Uh, well, see, yeah. So Alex Jones was in the Capitol. Well, Alex Jones. Him. Alex Jones was trying to get somebody to punch him. Right. And what? And he came up to Marco Rubio, and Mark was. He's not going to have any of it. Who are you? What the? And he just kept going. I I probably would have launched. I mean, I, I don't have it, but I did. would. Have. What? I I would have. You know that. <laughs> Why was he picking on Marco Rubio? Because he's a dick. I know, but they're they're from the same ilk, basically. They were having some hearings. They were having some hearings uh, on, on Capitol Hill about Twitter and Facebook, and oh. Alex Jones showed up to harass people okay <laughs> uh and and he did 
you know, he tried to harass Marco Rubio. So mm. that, that, that's the story, what went on. You know, wow. So, you know. Well, you know, uh, I guess uh, I'm sure Marco Rubio could handle it. He couldn't handle Trump. Uh, you know, he came back at Trump uh, during the debates, uh, you know, well, with, uh, trying to uh, uh, get on the same level as Trump's, uh, you know. By the way, head. what I've been doing is I've been getting a picture. This is a picture I took just the other day with the iPhone. Yeah, uh, I, you can't beat it. You, uh, and you can't say anything and, bad and, about it because and, and look it's only going to get better. Look at that. That was just, it's all natural lighting and everything else. It's, but it, uh, the iPhone is capable of some very neat stuff now. Yeah, uh, so I got I got to look at it on. Uh, yeah, did you, you post you, it? It's yeah, I can't. It's see coming. It. It's coming. It should oh, be. Co it, it is. It's running right now on the show. Yeah. Uh, you know, and she doesn't like it because she says uh, she has bags under her eyes. And I said I I can Photoshop it, uh, but I decided I didn't want mm -hmm. to. Uh, you know, Photoshop oh. really wants us to stop. But look, using look at those what that camera that can do. You know, I've, it, I've takes got a it takes it takes it takes the background out completely. Mm -hmm. And replaces it with black, and it's a great, you know, it's a great black and white photo. Alex, just email it to me. I have a program called Portrait Professional, mm -hmm. and what it does is it will take out, uh, you know, I could tell it how much to take out. And, no, but I, I can do all that myself smooth by the skin hand. I can do that yeah, myself by hand. I don't want to. I just like it the way it is. I think it's a very 30 natural, seconds it's done. nice picture of her. Yeah, yeah. you know. You know, so, I, I can I can elongate the neck. I can do a whole bunch of stuff yeah, with well, it, and it's yeah, very quick. You don't have to do that. Her neck is just fine. Yeah. Well, you can't see it in this one. But. Oh my God! An unsolicited comment. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm let's... sorry. An unsolicited compliment. Yeah. For no. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Now you, like now you may notice also. Uh, hello, uh, hello, uh, Ray. Yeah, you may notice hey. I'm, I'm, wear <laughs> I'm wearing I'm wearing I'm wearing this shirt. Uh, <clears throat> let me do this just for. So people can see it. <laughs> this goes back. You know, the old, this shirt has got to video be video toaster, huh? Yeah, this thing's got to be uh, 1993, maybe 94. This that's the last time you washed it. it uh, yeah, <laughs> but it, it's never been worn before, so I'm wearing it tonight. <laughs> and uh, then it, for 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 uh, you missed Ray's photo. Uh, I yeah, like that yeah, too. Yeah, that's a great photo. It looks uh, like uh, Michael Richards. I, I decided I, I would wear this for a little bit, although it doesn't. It, the trouble is, it doesn't have holes in it, and so therefore it gets very hot. But I thought I'd do this for Phil. Is what I there do. you go. Yeah, I'll do this for you. There, there we I go. want that Obama <laughs> shirt. I'm willing to pay for that Obama shirt now. There you go. That's my uh, that's my Red Army hat. Yeah. China. It's very uh -huh. becoming on you. Actually, it's a very cheap hat. It's, uh, but it, it doesn't have any vents in it, so it gets really hot. W it, was it made in China? Yeah. Or was, no, it was, was it made, made, in, it made, was made in Cleveland and sold, <laughs> sold in China. Yeah. Um, but uh, I don't wear this hat out because I figure people will like, get mad at me. You know, uh, I, not I, in Harlem. I don't want people to get mad at me. Are you yeah. there, Ray? We just, I am here. Yeah. I, I just don't have my camera on right now because uh, I'm outside walking somewhere, but I'm going to go home and hang up, and then I'll come back on in the mm -hmm. on the computer. Oh, okay. Uh, anyway, yeah. I, I got some... Okay. Uh, I could put the camera on. What the hell? Yeah, go, go. go ahead. You know. And turn yeah, what it, the hell? Turn it sideways. <laughs> like, get out of portrait mode. You know how I hate portrait mode. I know. I, I do, too. I figure people should be executed for portrait mode. I hate it myself. You know. Now we can't uh, even yeah. execute him for voting for Trump. What makes you think we can execute him for that? Sorry. Yeah. No. <laughs> anyway, uh, I want to <laughs> bring this up because last night we were discussing Woody Allen. Uh, yes. uh, 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 a subject you get apoplectic about. Uh, now, I actually, Woody Allen is not somebody I really care about. Yeah. I mean, but, I don't. And I don't really remember it. I just remember yeah. it was got the, like you said last night, it's got the uh, factor to it. Well, so go uh, ahead and clear it all up. Okay. Uh, the, the, this guy, Rob, Bob Weed, Weedy, Weedy is it? How does it pronounce? He's a producer over there at uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm and is a writer and producer of documentaries. He's done things on Lenny Bruce. He did, he did the Woody Allen documentary, I think, that was on PBS a couple of years back. And uh, he, he wrote this article that was called Woody Allen Allegations Not So Fast. 
And, and one part of it had to do with what we were talking about last night because you were asking about, well, what about Sun Yi? And we were saying, well, you know, wasn't she a kid? Blah, 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 blah. He says, first, the Sun Yi situation. Every time I stumble upon the topic on the Internet, it seems that people are most outraged are the most ignorant of the facts. Yeah, probably. <laughs> the following are the top ten misconceptions followed by my response in italics. Uh, number one, Sun Yi was Woody Allen's daughter. <laughs> I thought she was, uh, no, was it Previn? She was Woody it, Allen. She's not well, Woody Allen's biological hold, thoughts. Hold, hold, no, no, Shutter. it's false. It is absolutely 100% hey, false. She hold was on, let me finish. Of, let me finish. Yeah. Will you let me yeah. finish, Phil, please? Uh, uh, That's coming up, okay? Oh, okay. Sun Yi was Woody Allen's stepdaughter. False. Sun Yi was Woody and Mia's adopted daughter. False. Sun Yi was the adopted daughter of Mia Farrow and Andre Previn. Her full name was Sun Yi Farrow Previn. Okay, yeah. thank you. Woody okay. and Mia were married. True or false? I don't know. I thought so, yeah. False. They, have a, they, were never, they didn't get never got married. Okay. Woody, and Mia, oh. we, Woody and Mia lived together. True or false? I think that's true. That was true. false. Woody I lived in, lived Woody lived in his apartment on Fifth Avenue, Mia and her kids in the Central Park West. In fact, Woody never once stayed overnight at Mia's apartment in 12 years. Oh, my God. So this whole thing was completely uh, ridiculous. Yeah. Woody and fake Mia. News. Okay, here we go. Woody and Mia had a that's common law marriage. News. Well, obviously, in light of all we've said, that's false. New York State does not recognize common law marriage. Even in states that do, the couple has to cohabitate for a certain amount of years. Seven. Number seven, Sun Yi viewed Woody as a father figure. False. False. Sun Yi saw Woody as her mother's boyfriend, and her father figure was her adoptive father, Andre Previn. Sun Yi was underage when she and Woody started having relations. That was the big yeah. thing that came up last night. That's false. She was either 19 or 21. Her year of birth in Korea was undocumented, but believed to be either 1970 or 72. Soon Yi was borderline retarded. Ha, false. is the answer that he has. She's smart as a whip, has a degree from Columbia University, and speaks more languages than you. Who the hell even? We have. I have never heard that part of that conversation. Woody was grooming Sun Yi from an early age as to be his child bride. He goes, "Oh come on!" <laughs> According to court documents and Mia's own memoir, until 1990, when Sun Yi was 18 or 20, Woody had to do little to do with uh, any of the Previn children, but had at le had the least to do with Sun Yi. So uh, he wasn't even in the picture with her until a bit later. All right. So those are the mis those are the misconceptions. And on a scale of one to ten, I'm not. My life is not going to change in any shape or way now that I know that he didn't. Whatever it was. Thank, Did thank your, you. For is your does your opinion change a little bit? Well, I have to ask you one question first. Can you tell me how much time you spent on that? No, somebody uh, somebody sent it to me. Okay, so you didn't spend like 15 minutes reading it, and then uh -huh. another 10 minutes reading it, and no. No. It's interesting, actually. Okay, because you know you spent a whole lot of time trying to prove, uh, trying to prove that he was not in the wrong. But have you given any of that amount of time to any of the women that have come forward in any of these cases? Because you spent at least fifteen minutes. We just wait, heard at wait, least wait a three minutes. Hold on a, a second. Hold on a second. To begin with, Woody Allen has not been accused of having any improprieties with any other women. No, no, no. That's true. I'm not talking about his other women. I'm talking about. Anybody from Weinstein, anybody from I, 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 this, this, this has nothing to do with Weinstein or Me it, Too or any of those things. It is the oh, okay. No, it but has that, nothing to do with it except that it's Ronan Farrow who has been making these accusations. No, it's uh, okay. So first off, this whole thing was an accusation twenty years ago. Well, fifteen years ago. Here's an interesting part of this article that he brings up that we've all been talking about. While we're on the subject, a word about the Sinatra business. To even say Ronan is possibly Sinatra's son implies that Mia was fooling around with her ex-husband decades after their divorce. 
Backdating from Roman's birth date, it means that Mia Farrow and Sinatra hooked up in March of 1987 when Mia was 42 and Old Blue Eyes was 71. This sort of dispels the myth that Woody and Mia had this idyllic, loving, monogamous relationship until Woody threw it all away in 1992, since Mia was apparently diddling her ex five years earlier. If Mia was just kidding about the Sinatra scenario, it was an awfully intensive, insensitive thing to say, considering the fact that Sinatra's wife, Barbara, is still very much alive. Did Mia stop to think how her coy tease might be perceived by the widow Sinatra? One can only wonder if this fits Roman's definition of a moral transgression. One may also wonder whether Woody is owed a fortune in reimbursement for child support. Hey, uh, uh, did uh, uh, did Mia Farrow, was she kind of known as a, a, a bit of a flake? Yeah, uh, not a flake, crazy, nuts. Crazy, yeah. Uh, I was off trying the wheels. to be... I was trying off, to be nice. off off the wheels. Yeah, uh, you know. So I wonder if that's where that. Because see, I've never what heard Democrats that. What did Democrats say? Off the rails? Uh, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He says he's not here to uh, uh, slam me. I think she's an exceptional actress, and I seriously admire her political activism. But those who hate Woody for what he did to Mia should be reminded that if Sinatra was indeed Roman's biological father, it's not the first time Mia and the child. Had had a child by a married man, okay. Uh, Andre Previn, forty, was still married to singer Dor Dory Previn. And the betrayal is to have led to Dory Previn's mental breakdown and institutionalization, during which she received uh, electroconvulsive therapy. So, uh, what but, was that? Nineteen? Yes. Yeah, see, this was a while ago. Yeah, yeah. But uh, the point is that uh, now the other thing is that the daughter uh, uh, says that he had sex with her. Or that he uh, he abused her or whatever, and sure. a lot of people are saying this is this is this may not be true because it's enforced. What what's the thing we call it when there have been a lot of cases of this where people like those. Oh, remember those? Suggested? Remember that school where all the kids yeah. thought that they had been molested? Show me on the doll where he touched you. Yeah, uh, the, yeah. It, it, yeah. It, it, it's yeah. called. Uh, oh, what? I, there's a term. not coercion, but it's yeah. It, it, it's it's it's. You make the kid think that it actually did happen. Yeah. Okay, when uh, in fact it didn't. Probably called collusion, right? No, it's not called collusion. <laughs> uh, uh, they think that that may have something to do with the daughter and her claims. Uh, yes, Jeff? Pam says it's leading. Leading? Yeah. Yeah. Now, we had a whole, we had a whole bunch of people <laughs> whose lives were ruined by that kind of thing, you know? And it turned out that at that school, I think, I don't think anybody. The McMartin, ever, it was called, I think, the, the McMartin, McMartin Preschool. Day School. Yeah, preschool. Oh, McMartin Daycare. McMartin, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was yeah. pretty, pretty, uh, pretty uh, uh, dicey because a lot of people, lives were ruined, literally ruined by that situation. Was that in the Bay Area, that McMartin School? Southern right? California. Oh. Southern California, yeah. Okay. But, I mean, it, it, was, it was terrible what happened to those people. Uh, yeah. And it, 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 it's, it, it's something like in, enforced memory or whatever, in, in which the, the psychiatrist is asking questions that kind of, uh, what's the word? I, I agree with Jeff, for? they lead to a conclusion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Diane Weeks is calling. She never calls this program, but here, but here she is. Hold on a second. She probably has the answer. Are you, are, are you there, Diane? Hello. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. I'm just talking you know, guys. I'm just going to be about ten minutes late. What? I'm, I'm, I'm on my way, just so nobody gets upset or anything. What's so funny? Oh, by the way, I, I suddenly realized that I had my picture on for the last ten minutes, but I hope you people didn't mind. I'm not that ugly. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yes, Diane. Yeah. Is some reason you you called because you never call. That's not true. It's not. Oh never. my God! I'm sorry. I thought, <laughs> no, but, I thought I was calling my job. I'm being. I'm running late. Oh my God. Okay, call your really job. Like <laughs> yeah. She pocket I mean, dialed the show. And, yeah. I, oh, how funny. Okay. It's well, uh, have a good show, everybody. Well, I thought you maybe had something to add to this conversation. <laughs> okay. Bye. 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 What she she butt dial us? 
yeah, she pocket dialed the show. <laughs> she, she wanted to call her employer to tell her or tell him that they, she was running late. Uh, well, how did she push? I guess she pushed the wrong button. Hey, by the way, yeah. folks, I'm sorry that for a little bit of this video you had me on all the time, but that's eh, no big deal. Uh, I don't yeah. know how how you, you'll how will you live it down? How will I live it down? I don't know. I'm I'm tr trying to. Uh, but uh, anyway, so um, uh, you know, I mean, uh, what what we 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 make things so black and white in this whole deal, and rather than say, hey, you know, we have to. We, we have, to, I, I'm a kind of person, I've always been, I think, fair, okay? And, and I don't like to accuse people of things when there's not sufficient evidence or it hasn't been proven. And I don't think lives should be ruined on innuendo or on say-so. And a lot of that is happening now, and it, it's, not, it's not good. And Woody Allen, for instance, right now is having a hard time getting financing for another movie. So he's going to take a, a rest for a year. I would hate to think that this very talented man who makes great films will never make another movie again because these accusations have made it hard for him to get financing. And by the way, he is a profitable director for the studios because he brings his pictures in at a price that uh, they most of them go into profit. Okay. So it's, you know, during this whole Me Too movement, I haven't heard Woody Allen's name very often. So. I'm not sure who's bringing this up or who's even uh, talking Ronan about it. Ronan Farrow just recently came up with a lot of stuff about him. Okay. Oh, so Ronan's bringing it back up. Again. Yeah, Ronan. I see. He, r so, right. Somebody's got to got to put an arrow through Ronan's foot. You know, got to slow him down a little bit. He's getting a little too can't rambunctious. Huh? You're they, just upset. You know, can't, you no, can't they give him they give him a fucking arrow. Pulitzer and then there's no stopping him. You know. Oh God, yeah. no! I mean, the truth is out there. Well, no, but the, what truth? You know, he is relating what people have said is, is true. They feel is true. But he's sure. not, he, he, you know, he's never, he, did he go to any of the, did he go to Harvey Weinstein to get his side of the story? I don't know. If that I don't think so. I don't so think so. It. You know, not that Why? Harvey, not, not that. A I, not, is it important? Yes, of yeah. course it's if, important. You know, if he's going to court, if they're going to take him to court, the first thing your lawyer is going to tell you is don't talk on Well, camera. they might. he might have said, no, I don't want to talk to you. But, I mean, I think it would be in the sense of fairness. You no, would, you're guessing that he hasn't done it. You don't know that he hasn't done it. He just hasn't told you he hasn't done it or done it. Well, I never he, talked to Ronan Farrow. Exactly. You know. So making the assumption that he's never tried to get Harvey Weinstein's side of the story isn't probably it might not be true or it might well be all i'm saying is if you're looking that's one of the reasons that nbc wouldn't run the story is because the sh the story had not been vetted he had not his he was it was not sourced he could not name any sources to msnbc and so they told him we can't run it yet it's not ready when you can get some people who are willing to put themselves on the record then we can run the story but we can't it run it this way because we're putting ourselves in legal jeopardy was it MSNBC yeah, or it was NBC? M it was, well, it was MSNBC that he was working for at the time. Oh. Wait yeah. a second. Okay, wait. Is who isn't it NBC and then everybody's below it? MSNBC and then yeah. Well, I mean, but it, it, it it's yeah. One? You could say it's NBC, but then okay. again, you could also say that uh, Telemundo is NBC too. Right. You know. Okay. So yeah. I mean, it's under the same it, but I think he okay. was working for uh, MSNBC. Remember when they brought him in, they thought he was going to be the next big newscaster, and he just they flopped show. horribly. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, he came up with this story, and he brought it to them and said, I want to do it. And they, they looked at it, they vetted it, and said, you don't, have, you don't have sources you could name. There are no named sources here. These are only... In, these are only uh, uh, you saying that certain people say that, you know, and 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 it's we, hearsay. And it's hearsay, and uh, they ran it past a lot of other journalists within their company to see what they felt, and they said we'd be crazy to run this thing this way because if if Weinstein tries to sue, and he was making intimations that he was going to if this story <laughs> ran, if he was going to sue, then we should have the goods to back it up, and we don't, and Ronan doesn't have the goods to back it up. Now, I apparently, when he of... went to New Yorker magazine, he, it, either their bar was lowered 
or he suddenly had some people who would come forward and name themselves, all right? But he didn't at the time he presented it to MSNBC. Uh, and that, that's why they didn't run it. Uh, it. It wasn't cowardice on their part. It wasn't trying to help Harvey Weinstein. No, it, actually the letter that you put, the press release that was released sounds very much like CLAB, or Cover Your Legal Butt. That's all it screamed to me when you read it. It was just a legal oh, they document. Were, they were covering their, their butt ass. against all the people who were saying, you know, like uh, like Trump, you know, oh, you you, you didn't let Ronan Farrell run his story on your network, blah, 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 blah. And they just wanted to say, look, you know, we're a responsible news organization and we don't just run stories because somebody says, I have somebody who's anonymous who said blah, 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 you know. I have anonymous people that say you're Frank Sinatra's son. Fuck you. You know, I, you, you're going to come sue me? You'll probably win the suit because I can't name the source. Has anybody done DNA on Ronan Farrow? <laughs> Believe me, if you do it, it would be singing uh, my way. You know. Uh, uh, Take him to lunch, grab his glass. Every, every time I see him, I go, and that's not Frank Sinatra's son? You know, I mean, come on. By the way, earlier when we weren't allowed to call in, you were being ageist against your doctor. I know. Well, cut it out. Why? Because you... Uh, you don't understand <laughs> that? But, you know, yeah. uh, listen, a, a Jew can call another Jew a kike, and an old guy okay. can call another guy another. old. Okay, so okay. fuck An you. alpacaca. But, you know what, the answer to the question isn't, Oh, if it's an old doctor or a new doctor, the answer is who's going to be the best doctor for you. Yeah, that's so right. I that's don't right. care if he's really old. I don't care if he's young. I just want to know who can do it and be the best at it. Well, no, but I, uh, as, as, as all I was saying is, is that when I had my choice, uh, you know, and he, he said, uh, here's this younger female doctor and there's this older male doctor. You know, you pick one of them here, just the people I suggest. Uh, to begin with, I read her, you know, some of the people who reviewed her, and they weren't as good as this guy. Okay. okay. But uh, then again, you don't want to read reviews about anything online in general because people who hate somebody are going to go there and write something immediately, and people who love them aren't going to write anything, you know. So you know how I pick my cardiologist? How? Uh, the appointment times given... Uh, was the most convenient. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, she didn't do anything except set stuff up and. Uh, was she the it, surgeon? No, no, she oh, wasn't. Oh, okay. The, yeah. That's fine. Pick them uh, any way you want. <laughs> yeah, and uh, so yeah, it, it worked out great. She she was actually very good, but uh, it was just a stroke of luck. <laughs> stroke is not the term you should be yeah, using. Stroke. <laughs> yeah, we all yeah. caught that. Was that monkey thing? Yeah. Hold on a second. I, oh, excuse me. I'm, okay. I, it, it is. I your cardiologist has is, is got to be one of your most important doctors. Yeah. yeah. Well, she turned out being to be great, but uh, it, it was no th not through any fault of my own. Well, <laughs> I wonder who Burt Reynolds' cardiologist was. Uh, yeah, poor guy. Uh, was he? He was sick, right? Anyway, he had heart he was, problems back in about 2010, didn't he? He wasn't looking too good, and uh, well, but his you, hair yeah, always but, looked. Uh, uh, but I'm not looking too cough, good, you know. No, but at that age, you, 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 nobody says you're gonna look the good. Current pictured. Uh, yeah, he's only 82. What's that? Four years older than you? Yo, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Phil. Yeah. Uh, uh, John Cleese, when I had him on my show years ago. Used a term, and I can't. I always keep remembering it. He says, "As I get older, with the grave ever yawning, you know." And I always think of it as uh, the grave ever yawning, getting ready. But, yeah, we don't think about these things when we're younger. Yeah. Well, okay, he wasn't that old. He did still be some looking. You know what happens Robert, is yeah. he, he, yeah. the, he, the question is: When do you say to yourself, "You're old"? Because it wasn't until a few years ago that I suddenly realized, fuck, I'm an I, I'm an Alta Caca for Christ's sake. I'm still the person I was when I was in my twenties. I, I don't I don't uh, think any differently. But you know, well, I have some. That's because because your opinions haven't changed. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was probably liberal back then. <laughs> yes, uh, Jeff. I think 70 is a place where you, you, you uh, go over the, the line. Uh, really? I don't know that I felt that way. You know, I just... Well, no, it's not that you feel that way. Other people. It's amazing how, how, how age creeps up on you. One day, you suddenly on realize, hey, I'm 78 years old. Next birthday, another three months, I'm going to be 79. This is ridiculous. My mother is 90, and she is just as spry uh, and doing the kinds of things that she was doing 20 years ago. Uh, fucking uh, young boys. Well, no, she went through four husbands, though. <laughs> and, you know, she outlived them. And... Uh, and then, uh, you know, she, she still acts. She does commercials. Uh, she's in a theater group. She uh, does aerobic exercise. She drives. <laughs> she's doing and, and more she than I am. <laughs> and she doesn't even take a pill. Nothing. Uh, you know, totally healthy. And, it's be and you know, in the 60s, uh, early 60s, she was doing documentaries on belly dancing. I mean, she was very And how old, how old is she? 90. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Nice DNA. Yeah, uh, I, I got my father's, which uh, he died at 44. At, at 100, at 100, my mother was a complete wreck. Anyway, uh, you know, yeah. she, uh, she, McCain's, she uh, huh? mother is, uh, McCain's mother is uh, what, 106? 110? No, 106, 106. 106. Wow, and, and, she, and she looks great. She looked damn good DNA, we need to clone it. Sorry. <laughs> so he needs to be getting that sequence down. Yeah, I, I think she looked good. I just don't think she knew where she was. That that was what I the impression I got as I watched her. Did you get that, Scott? No. no. But I saw her functionality, and her functionality was still wonderful. So it was like, okay, that's impressive. It's hard to bury a son, you know? Yeah, but when you live that long, you're going to. You know, I mean, it's interesting that she buried a son who died at 82. You know, yeah. um, my mother lived to be 100. She's long gone. Yeah. Yeah, you know, she died. God, I can't, what year did she die? I can't even remember now. I don't know. It's not marked on the gravesite. Will you shut the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who don't know this. Well, you know, who was it? I, I was talking on this panel a couple of nights ago about not having a gravestone for my mother's grave, and a couple of people said they didn't have one for their mothers. Uh, that doesn't excuse the action, but thank what you, do you for mean, What do you mean it doesn't excuse the action? What is it? It's, it, a, it's a piece of rock that says you were, you ha you were here. My in your father, case, go ahead. Uh, my father has a, like a plaque on the ground, uh, and, you know, I guess it depends on the, on the uh, cemetery, what they uh, want, and you know the part of the cemetery he's in, they don't have uh, stones. They just have like a, br a brass plaque or bronze plaque. Or yeah. Was it? Wait a minute. Maybe it was. Oops. Let me see here. Oops. I got Hello. Uh huh. Hello. I'm back. Hey. How are you doing? Hi there. I love your flaming head. You like that? Yeah. It's good. Yeah, I took that in the kitchen with my iPhone. Yeah. That was a good I, picture of Marjorie. I were you, were you the about. one who said to me, Ray, about you didn't bury your mother or didn't put a stone on your mother's grave or something? No. No, that oh, was wow. that, that, that was Bubs, I think, wasn't it? Was it no, Bubs? That was, oh, we got more oh, nice oh, What is that? Hold, hold, of that oh, hold that up closer to, to your hold up closer to your camera so we can see it. Who is that? Is that your mom? Mo is that your mother? Your your mic isn't on, by the way. You're muted. You're muted, Jeff. Two zero one. Yeah. Who is that? Is that that's your mom? Ninety four. That's my mom. Yeah, she was ninety four when she passed. She was ninety four. Yeah. Nice DNA. That's very good DNA. Ray, what does your dad have, or did his DNA get like short? What is my? Yeah, because yeah. What does your dad have for, or your mom? Who's is any of your guys still living? Well, my parents are both still alive. Yeah. Yeah, they're up in Alaska right now on a on a cruise. My I, wife, they just sent me a picture today. Oh, I, I can show it to you. I guys. hear that tour, that Alaskan boat tour, is spectacular. Well, it looks like they're having a blast. Here's my mother. Okay, closer. Uh, there's my uh, mother. Oh, oh driving the ship. Directing the ship. The ship. <laughs> ship. Yeah. <laughs> that was today. Wow. 
<laughs> my parents are pretty young. They had me when they were 21 years old, which is why they had no business having having children at that time. But that's okay. Yeah. You know, back <laughs> then, uh, you know, back then people got married younger. My mother married my father. She was 18. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you know, it was it was much more common uh, for uh, people to start a family early. I think in Texas and some of the southern states, it still is. From what I've heard, Hawaii. Yeah. Does anyone guess why? <laughs> uh, it's probably an economic thing. No, Phil. Did you ever? Who's their firstborn child? Religious. In your in your household, Phil. I am. And did you count? Did your parents have to get married because you showed up, or no. were you there? Uh, they were together before you showed up. Uh, they were together uh, long before I showed up. I was okay, born in '54. So they got married in '48. Right. So there's a whole bunch of people that had to get married. And in the South right now, there's a whole bunch of people that have to get married, too. Yeah. yeah. Well, here I think I was, born no nine choice. I was born nine months and two weeks after my parents got married. Yeah. They knew it was coming. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. <laughs> it was, it was, it was, it was, I, that's I, not I, unheard of. But I always, what I always said was, uh, never ask the one question that, you shouldn't ask and that is don't ever ask your parents under what conditions was i conceived <laughs> you know because you might get an answer like another inch you would have been a butt fuck you know i mean uh <laughs> i i, I, think I it found was out a, you'd uh, like to think you'd like, you'd like to think that mom and dad said <laughs> I gotta flip the you know what i think <clears throat> it's time for us to have a lovely child let's do something about it oh here let's put on some nice music and some no, my parents were waiting for the furniture to arrive in a new apartment. And since the furniture wasn't there yet, they were sitting on the floor, so they decided to fuck. That's how I was created, okay? <laughs> I wanted a little more romantic story than that, but my mother was perfectly blunt and honest about it. And after you were made, they broke the mold. That's right. That's right. But, uh, uh, no, they were, they were really, uh, you know, so you never ask your parents how, under what conditions were you conceived. You know, I don't know. I don't know how long they waited before having me. I think they waited like a year, maybe a year and a half. I don't, I don't think All you have to do a, is pull your birth certificate and pull their marriage license. You were born in 39? I was born in 39, right? yeah. And what year did they get married? I don't remember. 42? <laughs> Something like that. You mean dad? Yes, and a goddamn cheap one at that. Yes. Right. My mom was born in 39, and my dad was born in 37. So your mother is the same age I am. That's right. Oh, but that was not your father. It is your father. Okay. Although she could be a, a little older than me because my birthday comes in December, so that really it, it's not, you know. No, she's, she's January, so you're older than her. No, wait. I'm younger no, she's than older her. than you. She's yeah? older than you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, by like almost a year. She's probably yeah, she's probably seventy nine now, right? Uh, um, yeah, she's got to be. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, because I'm seventy eight and I'll be seventy nine in December. So. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Tony. How are you? Turn on yeah, your mic. We muted too. Turn on yeah. your damn microphone, Tony. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Tony keeps writing me Facebook messages. Uh, yeah. oh, God. oh, lucky you! I need. Yeah, Tony needs to. Get Tony, my why don't? Where's your audio? Talk to where's your audio? No, nope, still can't no, hear you. Can't hear you. Is your mic? Department. Is your microphone muted? Look, you sound great, Tony. Did you lose your voice? <laughs> <laughs> say, say that again, Tony. Oh yeah, I understand. No, Bill's stop got it. fake hearing. You need to hang up and call back. It would be a good idea. Jeff, what's on your T-shirt? Oh, I don't know. Uh, ketchup <laughs> lunch, I think. <laughs> no, it says something. I just can't. I don't know what it is. Support, support the, the right, right to bear, bear knowledge. knowledge. Phil, read that. Read it closely. I support the right to bear knowledge. All right. Well, let's <laughs> let, right. let's talk a little bit about the uh, the uh, the uh, yeah uh, the House of Blues. The the elephant in the room. Um, uh, like, there are there. Wanted to get to that op-ed piece. We oh, already talked about that last you night. You missed your chance. Yeah. Oh, okay. No reason to talk about that. 
we all knew it. We all knew about it anyway. So what's the yeah, difference? I had a question about that. All I can sure. imagine. All I can imagine is how crazy Trump is getting right now. In the White House, <laughs> suspecting hey, everybody, you know. Now, everybody is calling this op-ed. That stands for opinion editorial. Mm -hmm. Yes. Correct. It's not fact. It's an Correct. opinion. Right. And, and uh, you know, and it's anonymous. You're, 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 yep. uh, to begin so with, I it's, don't no, give it any to get, begin with, Phil, it's, <laughs> it's, Phil, it's not, it's not anonymous. Yeah, well. Uh, anonymous who, who would, would uh, anonymous would imply that the Times didn't know who it was, and they know who it is. The person just wanted to remain anonymous, but they, they know who it is so they could vet it. And so they isn't, could. It, isn't it funny that the, this, this article uh, sort of coincides with Woodward's book, and his book is basically the same kind of thing as this well, article? Well, then what we Maybe could, then, 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 no, either that, that or book. you could call it confirmation, couldn't you? No, nah, we uh -huh. call it a plant to sell his book. You could call yeah, it Tony's You could call it confirmation. Yeah, I just think it's a non, uh, it's a non conversation. Non sequitur. Yeah, we already no, knew about it. Yeah, it, there's no reason. And even if Mike Pence is the person who did it, it's just PR. It's just I public doubt, relations. I doubt Mike Pence would even. And I and I doubt that too. And. Yeah. So it just we don't need to talk about it because really I think it's not. I think it's George Conway. Well, I think, I it's, think it's Dan Coates. Yeah. It's the one that... Uh, I, put I think it's B.B. King. <laughs> He's dead. I think it's Conway Twitty. I, 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 Go I, for that I, one. Is no, he dead too? I think it's <laughs> Kanye West. I don't know. Well, no, 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 but Kelly Conway's husband, George Conway... And she don't see eye to eye on Trump, and I think there was some issues between. Yeah, but uh, he George doesn't Conway work. But Trump. he doesn't work inside the White House, inside the West Wing. No, but you know, uh, they this, didn't say this, that it this was person indicated. The West Wing. That, no, this guy intimated that he was part of the staff. You staff. Know. Well, the yeah. staff. You know, that was part part of the crowd that does business in the West Wing for the president, and. Uh, you know, whether it's this guy's account or the account of Bob Woodward, uh, they don't seem to be that far afield from each other. Uh, they seem to paint the same picture of the same crazy, obsessed human being and the boy child who is our president. Well, that's, that's what you'd like to see. And, uh, and no, that's and not so what I'd so like to see, to Phil. It. That's not what I'd like to see. I would like to see that I was wrong in in not voting for Trump, and that he was a sane, rational man who was doing good business for our country. I would love to be able to sit here and tell you, Phil, you know, you were right about Donald Trump. I would love I, nothing more than that. Now, now they keep saying that he lies. All right, this is really? this is one of the this is one you of the it. accusations. Hold on, who are we talking about? Trump. Donald Trump. Trump. Who, okay, else, who else? We actually have the facts and the proof that Donald Trump lies. Right. He's, I, I, he I look. Not, he, we're not. No, 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 I'm not saying he doesn't, uh, you know, uh, but I'm saying that I looked up tonight uh, what these lies were. And uh, it was a website. It was the Toronto Star or something. And, uh, you know, and, and a number of them turned out to be true. Uh, you know. Yeah, but there were literally, since he's become president, a thousand lies. Okay, oh, yeah. they, so the fact that one or two turn out to be true is like, you know. Clock twice. Y yeah. Well, yes, uh, yes, I, yes, Jeff. If my mother was alive, she would say he's got pimples all over his tongue for lying. There yeah. you go. Uh, yeah. I like that supposed one. to have a nose that grows. <laughs> yeah. uh, there you go. Uh, noise. What, we, what we have is a man who is, uh, I think, crazy. Ill-equipped to nuts. be I'm, in the I'm, highest and I of the and United I say States. thank God for people like this guy who was the anonymous person in the op-ed piece, who are at least trying to hold all his emotions at bay and not act on his impulses. Well, you know, I see him in front of crowds. He's in front. He's in Montana tonight, and uh, you know, he's not going. He's not going <laughs> but off you're not the rails. See, what, what do you mean he's not going off the rails? That's what. That's him on on stage. That's him in front of the public. I'm, we're talking about him in private and the decisions he's made. He wanted to kill Assad. 
Ah, I think that's a good idea, and I'm glad oh, that he sent yeah. 56 uh, missiles uh, in, into uh, Syria uh, when they used uh, poison gas on their people. Yeah, and so bombing the end of a of a runway doesn't make you take out anything. I mean, all he did was he dropped a whole bunch of missiles on the end of a runway. He could have dropped them in the middle of the fucking runway, so the runway couldn't have been used. But no, your guy blows up the end of a runway. Uh, you know, that's a good signal. Uh, Jeff wants to say something. I'm sorry, Jeff. I, I, th- I said this last night, and I'll say it again. I think when I was six years old, or in sixth grade, how about that? Mm-hmm. Sixth grade, I learned that the that we don't kill presidents from other countries. Right, right. You could say I'd like to, but that doesn't even mean during you do. World it's War the Two. I don't. In world action. during World War Two, I don't think we ever plotted to kill Hitler. Oh, yeah, there were plots to kill Hitler. No, though. the Didn't plots one of them with, fail? With, within, well, we didn't fail. Yes, within within us, his though. own ranks, yeah. not 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 from the United States. Yeah, it wasn't us. I mean, it, we, it wasn't the United States that did that. Just because somebody says, "Hey, I'd like to kill Assad," doesn't necessarily no, mean he's going to do it. No, he didn't say I'd like to kill Assad. He or, issued he an order it. to assassinate Assad. Now. Who, who says that he ordered this assassination? Is this anonymous guy? Supposedly, this was people next to near to Mattis because Mattis said, "Okay, whatever you want." And then he told the people around him, "Anybody acts on this, do not act on this." Okay, and and admonished them not to, because he he knew that it was the wrong thing to do. Well, you know, uh, Trump how much was not how a- much of this how much how much. Things have to come out about Trump before you realize this guy is, is Looney Tunes. When he starts coming after the Jews. <laughs> well, that well, could, well, let's see. Already gone through the black people. Yeah. Headed to the through the white people. Well, he did the Hispanics. The Forget the, we got the Hispanics. Yes. So hey, the Jew- Joel, I think you're just enjoying your 15 minutes of fame. How is that? <laughs> uh, I'd come up with something else. Because you're the most else. popular person on the panel. No one. So it's like you're going to keep doing this until Trump just goes in ape shit. Well, wait a minute, Tony. Have you got sound now? No, no you no, don't. Sounds great, Tony. Your mic isn't working. <laughs> Tony, we can't hear you. See, we can't, see if the, if the there's the no reason to keep talking, Tony. I'm going to have to put it down on paper. <laughs> there goes Tony again. <laughs> I, like, I like how we tell him his mic's not working and he keeps talking. Yeah. I keep telling him not to text me all of those things, and he keeps doing it. But yeah, he you know. texts me all kinds of shit all day. It's yeah. kind of funny though. I know. I, I I after a while I block him, and then you know I take the block off, and he <laughs> slows down. I think. Do I still have him blocked? I blocked him at one point. Yeah, he sends you pictures of cereal boxes. Yeah, I, I don't want to see another Snoopy. Hanna Barbera cartoon character. You oh know? come on! We, well, see, so you guys must see them more often than I do. Because he was sending me, like, wisp. I haven't seen This is a guy who works folding boxes to put hats in all day in a heated uh, warehouse, in a a, a non-air-conditioned warehouse. He has nothing else to do but write you, you know, Well, so if he didn't put a box in a hat, you probably wouldn't have gotten the box, uh, the hat that you bought. Now, if if he would spend that much time doing the boxes, then he could go into the office where they do have air conditioning and do something productive, show him that maybe he's got something going for him and, and get promoted. But he sits there. What and, do you show send- people? It, we well, we can ask him here, but he won't be able to talk. I don't think. said like a true Republican. Wait a OK, oh. I can't, are you the, now? Can, is your mic working? No, no it's not. It's not, working. Tony. It's not working, Tony. We Tony. we sh- we should tell him it is working. Stop <laughs> screwing with him, Tony. Stop talking, Tony. We can't hear you. We we can't hear you. <laughs> there he goes again. <laughs> he doesn't give up. You know what I have now? Uh, like Einstein. So that I uh, we have one person up here. I know he's listening probably right now. Who on on Gabnet? Who is 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 technically retarded? Okay, leave oh. him alone. Well, no, he, but he is. 
Pick it on Jack. So what I have, what, what I Remember have, I s- what I have, is I have a uh, access to his computer. I could go on it right now. Uh, I mean, oh, oh, with that, with that new program? Yeah, with the new with program the that I have, and, and and with his permission, with his permission, I can go online to to his machine. And so if he's having any real problems, like Tony right now, if I was able to get onto his machine, I could probably find what's wrong, which is probably something as simple as going into your preferences in uh, Skype and saying, hey, I want the <laughs> microphone that's in the, you know, in the camera, you know. So, yes. so I think what you ought to do is upload a whole bunch of Alex Bennett photos onto Onto Herb's or onto Jack's machine, and so when his wife opens up the machine, it's no, all Alex. No, no, no. Better yet, I'll put a bunch of like porn. No, yeah, on, on his see, desktop. So when his wife like opens up the machine, there's this big dick in somebody's mouth. You know. No, she's she's she's, she's a CPA kind of person. She ain't gonna think that's funny. But <laughs> well, we would. Yeah, he would, but she. No, we he, would. Oh, you would. No, yeah, I would never do really that. Matters. I would never do that to him because by giving me, allowing me onto his machine, he trusts me, and I'm yeah. I'm here just right. in case That's there's his ever first mistake. In case. <laughs> well, is he afraid of spiders or anything? Can we like, you no, know, I'm take not, a bunch of pictures no, of those? I'm not going to. I'm not going to do anything to ruin his machine. Okay. Hey, uh, has all the weather uh, 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 gone past Hawaii now? Or no, we got to normal. So hey, let's, I'm let's hit t- the six t- o'clock weather. Talk about the but, fucking um, weather. It has just been we, brutal here in New York. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And you don't have a stupendous view, and you're roasting like a pig. So enjoy. He has a great view. <laughs> well, no, in, in <laughs> Hawaii you view? roast pigs, so you know. Yeah. There you go. Uh, but, but Jeff, what are you going to say? You should have came to my house. Because we have a swimming pool across the street there. And I just, I went in the water. <laughs> and you know what? I just wouldn't want to get out because it was yeah. so hot. It was brutal. Just it brutal. Was brutal. You know, uh, and, and tomorrow, today it was 70, 92. Tomorrow's supposed to be 75. What? Yep. Yeah, you have something blowing in. Uh, yeah, and and well, it's going to be it, it's not going to go above eighty for about a week. Congratulations! Uh, yeah. Now there's there's something going on in the Gulf. Is are you getting any of that? There's a hurricane. There's a, a, ten, a chance of a hurricane by the end of next week, when girlfriend's coming back from China. <gasps> Can I put in an order a request for a uh, Obama? Sure you know, I don't know. They, it, it, I bet they don't have them where she's going. They had them in. Uh, we just saw oh, them the in, a, in a store in uh, in Beijing, but she's going to be in Shanghai. Oh, okay. And that's it's, it's uh, you know I mean uh, the, those shirts are I I don't know I don't know if I just wasn't lucky and found one you know. Uh, and I bought. So two we have of them. two hurricanes coming in our direction. I one is they're both according to what's happening is they're both going to hang. Uh, take it off to the I, north. I so bought I that the same time that. I bought this. So. Yeah, see, that's pretty cool. I don't know why you're afraid to wear that out. Oh, I don't Who know. Who do you no, think is going to stop you? I, well, you know what? I, the it, Chinese it, police? It's, it's very uncomfortable Sorry. because it has no air holes in it, if you notice. Oh, so yeah. in that this thing. weather, I, I, so huh? just take an ice pick and, you know. Yeah. But uh, uh, I bought this at the same place I bought the Obama T-shirt. Sam. Good investment. Good investment. Yeah. There's Kevin. I bet his Kevin. microphone's hey. working. Hello, Kevin. Ho, ho, ho. How are you? Yeah. You're yeah. perfect. But, you know, I just don't know how much of this has to go on, Phil, before you say, well, maybe there is some truth to some of it. Don't you think there's truth to I don't to think so. Oh, you don't think so. Oh, you, you think like all this stuff is the... seriously anymore? <clears throat> no, I, I don't think so. I, I I believe in in what he's doing, and his results are what's important. And I and whether he says things that make Democrats crazy is is one thing. But uh, on the other hand, his results are exactly right. what I want done. Where's the wall? It's coming. Jeff, what do you got? <laughs> he said. He said. That result, which is, I know what you're going to talk about, about finances, maybe it doesn't have anything to do with what Trump has done. Because I think- the, the 
finances of the con of the country have gone up for the last seven years. And I don't think Trump oh. had anything to do with No, seven. but it's a continuation of that. Uh, many people said that if Trump got elected, that the stock market would crash. Well, and that's obviously I never not heard what that. Happened. I never heard that. Uh, well, that. then you were, you had your head in the sand. But uh, as well as, uh, you know, he's gotten rid of an, uh, a lot of duplicate, onerous uh, Give me an example. Regulations. Give me an example. Uh, I'll, I'll, well, coal. Coal? You yeah. mean that old form of energy? You mean the energy that we're exporting to other nations? Yeah. Uh, you know something? Export it all you want. I don't want coal burning in this country anymore. And I you don't mean want the energy those... that gives more people cancer than anything else on this planet. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, and, 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 and 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 temporary and, thing. And, and, and the what? It's a, he said he was going to pump oil. He was going to do everything he could to get the economy going and and make us energy independent of the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. And then also come up with alternative. He's not coming energy close. Sources. He's not even coming fucking close. You know who's coming well, close? China. Is coming close. Yeah, because they're buying our stuff. No, they're, know, not they they're not buying our stuff. They're not buying our stuff. They they're developing their own uh, their own alternative forms of uh, of energy. Yeah, probably stealing the technology from us. Oh, God, you know, Phil. Well, and, and you know they steal technology. You know that they're doing all of these things that uh, they're not uh, practicing fair trade with us. And uh, and, uh, what, and Trump what, is standing what, up to what, them. Tell me, outside of things in uh, in in Silicon Valley, tell me some technology recently that this country has produced. Uh, well, that is you know robotics, but you know no no wait, China... wait a minute wait a minute hold on a second. Robotics is like thirty years old, and you okay. don't they, they didn't have to steal robotics; they just improved on it. There's a nanotechnology that is going on in China right now. Uh, that, Will you uh, explain can, nanotechnology to us, please? Well, uh, from what I understand, it's it's a. Uh, I believe that the stuff I heard a, a story on it. Was, you, you're not telling me what nanotechnology nano is. Nanographic thing. It's something the Chinese are actually. Nanotechnology yeah. is not technology, by the way. Your grandmother uses. Okay, so. Well, look, this technology. It's nanotechnology. Uh, nano nano nanotechnology. Okay, okay, so you, you explain it. Well, what does that have to do with Trump? Well, it has to do Pardon with our, our technology is being reverse engineered and stolen. Our patents, you know, if you want to buy a Louis Vuitton bag, it's not a Louis Vuitton bag if it came from China. You know, uh, not that I would buy one of those. <laughs> Hello, Louis Jack. Vuitton Plastic thing with Hello, LG Jack. Or... You've just you've just come it's on in time to hear it. the complete meltdown of Phil Meyer. Nah. No, no, you're gonna watch Renee explode. <laughs> fine Italian leather. It's Italian. Vinyl. Louis Vuitton it's... makes vinyl. It's not. Their entire line is not vinyl. I heard well, on MS uh, what on the on the uh, Money Channel, MSNBC, or whatever it was that the yeah. that the leather thing that we ship our leather over to China, they process it and send it back, and the tariffs that they put on the leather once it leaves here and goes over there and gets tariffed back on us, that it's going to basically could put the uh, was it Miracle Leathers almost out of business, out of business because yeah, of the tariffs. It's gonna. It, we're tariffing our own stuff. Well, maybe we shouldn't send it to China. Yeah, well, we send. Well, we, we send, can't we, do we it because we, send we them took the business away. They took the business away yeah. from us. We took it over there because they were doing it, and and we don't do any uh, processing of leather here anymore in the U.S. And yeah. now that it has to go over there and come back, yeah, it's going to get tariffed. Well, actually, what it comes back stuff. as is beef jerky. So it's, I, uh, I thought it came back as vinyl, you know, with the Louis Vuitton sticker. Vinyl on it. isn't plastic, isn't leather, Phil. I know, but we send them leather, and so they your send us vinyl. Your couches are going to cost more. Uh, hello, Jack. Hello there. You know, uh, one thing to Phil Meyer. Oh, I take that back. Two things. Oh, how about five things? Go ahead. Yeah. Just have that. I got two. <laughs> Just two. Uh. In 20 years, this country is not going to look like you. 
that's okay. Thank God. All right. Well, thank God for I, small you know, favor. Probably it's, it'll be a plus. <laughs> and <laughs> this needs to be one planet, one people. With Why? open border. Because sooner or later, we're going to need each other. Sooner or later, this nation state bullshit has got to stop. Well, I don't believe in a one world uh, government. I'm not asking you to believe it. I'm asking you to accept it. I, I that won't accept it, and I won't, uh, you know, you, I won't support it. We will not see it in our lifetime, but probably in my great grandchildren's lifetime, we will have to see it. No, uh, we'll see. <laughs> Okay, Phil, to to your wonderful, you've got the wall built, you've got infrastructure jobs, you've got a health care plan. Here's the latest information. A study of consumer bankruptcy protection is a, found that the trend na nation, nationwide is up. It says about 1.2 people, excuse me, 1.2 filers per 1,000 in 1991 for people who are between 65 and 74. Now it's 3.6 filers now. So it's so up It's up by a whole Renee, bunch and it's gonna get worse. How is the uh, ACA working for us then? It, it's That's what we're using, the Obamacare, okay. the ACA, and, 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 and bankruptcies you, are up. So you, you think do, that, you do that realize that's a failure? That, no, you do realize that the last half of President Obama uh, is administration we were trying to not let you tear apart the ACA. What did you do? You did two things that were important. You refused to fund to pass a particular date, which we just passed. So all everybody's everybody's uh, amount that they had to contribute is going to go up, was going to go up, and they refused to do existing. Uh, you guys are going to be refusing to do existing conditions, so that's going to go up. You know so, why they did that? No, you did it. Republicans no, you, did it. You, you know did why not. they yeah, don't need the existing conditions anymore? Right. Because why? now I'm cancer-free. I can get... Uh, <laughs> so, but So you're seeing, and this is what bothers me. You're not cancer-free for five years. Uh, you, yeah. you didn't have... Uh, I, I don't have a prostate. Yeah, but you're still not cancer-free for five years. There really? you go. Yeah. So... Why is it that Republicans don't give a shit about these people who are 65 to 74? Well, and let me add one other thing while you're there, Renee, and then we'll go to Jack, who had his hand up. Uh, uh, the majority, the vast majority of bankruptcies in this country now are among medical. old people for medical reasons. Mm -hmm. Okay? So uh, that's pretty sad. You think that's poor planning? Uh, yes, I... poor planning on the part of the government. Yes, J uh, Jack. You know, Phil, don't confuse the Affordable Care Act with medical care. The Affordable Care Act is just a, an insurance plan. It was a bad insurance plan. But everybody... We... Huh? Everybody? Yeah, everybody? Look, I was walking the dog yesterday... And, and I, I th there's, a, there's a there's a thing called Trinity, uh, not too far from my apartment. And what they do is it's homeless services. And uh, parked out in front of there was a mobile medical uh, thing. It was this gigantic uh, mobile home, and uh, and and they gave they give free health care to the homeless. Uh, all they had to do was you know, I'm not walk yes. onto the bus. Anybody so, want to start with why are they homeless and how does how does it reflect on us that we can't take care of our homeless and give them homes? Let's match health care. Do you want to go hey, there? Hey, Look, Phil, they're just homeless. Yesterday, just they yesterday, my Renee, wife, you got to quit. Just yesterday, yeah, you're, it's a lost wife, cause. Well, yeah, yes, Jack. Sorry. Had a had a medical procedure done. Mm -hmm. It took roughly ninety minutes. The bill to our insurance company was $10,000. Now, why is it? Why is it if our system of funding medical care is so goddamn good, the rest of the world isn't looking at how we do it? We're being exactly. taken advantage of by oh, yeah. uh, by uh, the medical... Uh, no, by, by, by uh, you know, it's so all of them. So what are you? It's a conspiracy. I love the fact that white men. Do... No, I want to ask him. White this. men. Sorry. 
I will go this far, B Jack. Jack, I will go this far. The ten thousand dollars is money they never expect they're going to get. Am I right, right, Jeff? No, this was paid for by our insurance company. That, they the didn't pay. Grand. They didn't pay the whole ten grand. They get well, a they lot. Paid, they paid everything but a thousand dollars. And who, right. who paid for that? No, I, Wait a minute. Hold I on just, a second. Hold on a second. Uh, and who who's paying that thousand dollars? That's coming out of our pocket. Ah, now there's the big problem. Let's say hey. this wasn't a $10,000 deal. This was a $200,000 deal. What's your share going to be? Uh, 40. It would be, well, I'll tell you about my heart it, surgery. It would be, it would be about forty. Thousand dollars Huh? 5000 Hey. Wait a minute. Hold on there. a second. Hold on a second. How much was your heart surgery? Uh a little over three hundred and fifty thousand dollars by the time they kicked me out. And how much? My shit how, how, what was, was your thirty-five thousand? Yes. And 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 now how I, many people? Now he maybe he, you had the thirty-five thousand, right? I told them I was not going to pay it all at one time. I couldn't afford to. Yeah, but what so, happens when somebody I, can't afford it at all? They write it down. Yeah, you know. But the thing is, other countries because we're too damn stupid to say. Let's look at what somebody else has done. Let's send some American citizens, not, you know, congressmen, not health care officials, some working average every day, go to the job and turn screws on the machine, Americans, and have them investigate what they do somewhere else. Wouldn't that be shocking and new? Hey, Jack. Yes. I, uh, my stent, last stent operation... Because uh, I, I didn't get a bill for the first one, but for the second one, uh, they sent me a bill. I was in there overnight, $47,000, and I paid $135. Well, you see, you're in an HMO. Yeah, and also, ask him one other thing, Jack. How much do you pay a month for health insurance? Yeah. Well, right now, it's a thousand, a little over a thousand, but... Yeah. The yeah. uh, you're but pay, that's that's you're, common. You're paying. You're pay, no, it's not common. I have the highest level policy you can get. I have the platinum plan. Uh, so uh, I have I'm no sorry. Deductible. I'm sorry. I is, I, is, I have Medicare that, and I have a supplemental, and that doesn't cost me more than two thousand dollars a year. Well, now because you're a senior, when I and next year when I qualify for uh, Medicare, uh, it goes to ninety nine bucks, and, and uh, you know you see so you pay Medicare and then ninety nine bucks. And Why do you think it was programmed? Phil? Wait, 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 Ray, 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 let Ray, let Ray talk. He hasn't had a chance Phil, to talk Phil, tonight. Why do you think that our system is so good? Our medical system, our insurance I system. I don't. Oh. Well, well, then uh, why are you so against making it better? I'm not I mean, against making it better. Western why would you assume country? that? Well, because there, there's a way of doing it that the Western I just, uh, see, I just don't, don't, except for us have all okay. Done this is this is the issue. Working. I am all for making it better. I don't believe that government is the answer to making it better. See, but, I don't believe that our government does things uh, efficiently. Oh, and, oh, oh, pick up the trash? They don't deliver the mail? They don't fix the potholes? Are you going to pay for your own potholes? Okay, let me... I, uh, I, Jack, the question, relax. You I may, I know, no, crank it here. up, brother. Let's get up there to the top and let's pound. So uh, let, let's do this. The only thing that's going to pound is your heart. Okay, so the last two years of the Obama administration, you have spent, uh, the Republicans spent telling us they have a better health care. They have a plan B. It's a better health care. They obviously it's a plan did. B. It's a plan B. We have a better health care. Yeah, where is it? They're full yeah, of shit. The fuck is Repeal it? They, they're and all full of shit. Where's your wall? Gone. Not there. Where's your infrastructure? <laughs> oh, by the way, by the way, but wait, but by the way, by the way, by the way, so but by the way, the wait a minute, hold on a second. The other day, yeah. yesterday, when, when Trump was giving a speech uh, 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 saying Indiana. how wonderful things have gone and how well he's done, and then assailing uh, this writer of this op-ed piece, and he then said, and we have this and we have that, and we started the wall. Mm -hmm. Huh? We've started the wall. What did he do? Did, did he like go down and just? And they got funding. They got funding in that last go around. If that, of, if that wall, funding. if there was any cement poured on that, our, the news people would have been there in a heartbeat. So he's no, lying. They, shit. No, they they did. I saw pictures of what they were doing. I saw and, pictures. Yeah, yeah. By the way, by the way, interesting story. This uh, 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 was brought up on uh, on uh, um, uh, the, the exchange with Damien just before us, and he brought it up. You know that picture 
uh, that uh, <laughs> of of uh, the inauguration and the people in the inauguration mm. uh, standing. Uh, mm -hmm. It Mr. turns Mr. out that the picture that was released by the Park Service was a lie. It was fake news. They were asked to doctor it by the Trump administration to make it look <laughs> like there were more people. So you don't like Photoshop? I yeah. thought you liked Photoshop. Yeah. Oh, so, Phil, every time every time something is brought up to prove you wrong, you make a joke or you divert. Yes, exactly. No, no, no. You didn't hear what Alex and I and everyone else was talking about. Well, no, about but you do do that, Phil. You do uh, do that. So what? <laughs> Well, so well, what? Because then you never actually handle the issue. You That's just, how you divert. As soon as something is brought up that, that makes hey, Trump I, look bad, admit, you just change the subject. I admit that there was fewer people than at Obama's uh, uh, inauguration. Obama was busting them in, you know? I mean, Wait, oh, uh, so listen, there I were less people at the inauguration than at an Ariana Grande <laughs> performance, okay? Yeah, I yeah. go Around. with a bar mitzvah. Bar mitzvah? Yeah, there's there were more people at, at Alex's bar mitzvah than there was at Donald Trump's inauguration. Well, maybe, maybe there was. But no, it I looked like it. It, it, it looked like it, but the National Park Service came in and photoshopped my uh, yeah my bar mitzvah. Your bar mitzvah. Bar mitzvah. <laughs> uh, 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 look, look, Phil is a <laughs> Phil is a good supporter of his team. He no, is a I'm good. a supporter of Trump. I don't like necessarily Republicans well, because I, they're they're in the same did 13 I, percent uh, did I, acceptance. Did I say Republicans? I said of your team. Now right. let's just whip the hell out of his team. That's all we got to do. No, I I like Trump. I like what he's doing, and uh, I see past all that other bullshit that is making no, you guys... No, you can't see past see, you're, Trump. You're listening no. to the dog whistles. Well, he no, makes his own I tweet. Just, I don't want any American, 65 to 74, year, 74 years of age, filing bankruptcy due to medical. That's not how Americans do this shit, and you why, people need to understand if, that. If they had Medicare, why would they have to file bankruptcy? You know that's. Uh, you know what? Go ask the accountant. Ask the person who posted. Don't you it. ask him. You're the one that cites the statistics. It, it's just. But how are you, as a human, okay with making old people get, have to decide between their medicine or their house? Well, how that, is that good for you? You know, sometimes I've had to uh, decide between my business and my house. I mean, stuff happens that's, to people. You know, see, you don't have to have a business, but you do have to have a prostate. Well, you had, well, forget it. Sorry. Phil, have you lived anywhere? <laughs> you get in that position, <laughs> Phil. Phil, have you lived anywhere outside of the country and dealt with their system? Yes or no? Uh, no, I have. I, I've, I've never had to have medical. Have, things. Then, if you were a real American with an ounce of curiosity, you'd go investigate that, wouldn't well, you? I, as far as I'm concerned, our government is not doing a good job with health care, whether I, it when it deals with did, uh, did whether I, it deals I, with insurance. Did I ask you that? Did I ask you that? I what said you, if you were a you real did. American and you were genuinely concerned about the shitty job. That our government does, that our insurance companies do, uh, do that our our hospitals do. You and some good conservatives like yourself would go and spend some time, and I don't mean two weeks. I mean six months to two years at least. Your I agenda is to push single payer health care. Yes. And and and, no. and I don't no. agree with that agenda. No. And the reason no. I no. don't is I because I don't agree. I want you to investigate. Stop the talking company. over me for a second. No, you talk over me. Come on. Oh. Come on. <laughs> All right. No, uh, no, the, the reason I don't agree with that is I haven't seen other programs that really are successfully run. Even have, Medicare have, is, 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 is running out of money. Have, have, oh, get him, Alex. Scheme. Have, have get him, Alex. It as a it's patient. not running. Medicare is not running out of money. What's running out of money is is the government which steals from from the Social Security right. Administration, uh, for so, and and part right. of that money that we don't have and uh, it, for Medicare is coming from Social Security. So why the fact would you is give them that, more? 
No, no, no. And, and who took the money out of the account? It doesn't matter. It, it, it matters. matters. What do you mean it doesn't matter? Of course it, it matters. Because you're sitting here with a bold-faced lie that Medicare is going broke, that Social Security is going broke. And the reason, it, if it is, is because this government didn't look upon it as a locked box, as Al Gore once referred okay. to it as. And they stole from it. They stole so from it to do... you want to give them more power to, to, to fuck no, things up? No, no, I want to prevent them from stealing from me, Phil. <laughs> Because that's my money. Well, I agree. And the problem no, is, no, is no, I would not put uh, the government in charge of anything other, you know, other than what's necessary. There are at least there are at least three people here, myself being one of them, who are collecting Social Security and Medicare. Am I right about that, Jack and Jeff? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Oh, and Kevin, how old are you, Kevin? Sixty-one, but I'm dis on disability. Oh, okay. Right. He so got in right. early. All right. So I but mean, you know what? You oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, you, you know, and if we didn't have that lifeline, we'd be up Shit's Creek. So yeah. Phil, what you said was wrong. That's what I'm saying. If you if you were on it, Phil, you'd you'd feel it. Yeah. What you said was wrong. We're not trying to give you health care. We're just trying to keep you from dying. No, you you want the you want health care paid by the government, but you don't want to contribute. Uh, no, and Kevin said whoa, that. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I, I say that the government has screw, it, it does a very poor job of running these programs. And look at the VA, for instance. Uh, these people, the lines are longer. Why do people from all over the world come to our country for it's health funny. care? Do you know there are some people, it depends on where, you, Phil, 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 you're lying, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying, Phil. And here's why you're lying. There are people who are I'm using lying. the Veterans Administration, are using these veterans' hospitals, who swear by them because there are yeah, good ones. There are they have nothing Wait else. a minute, listen to me, Phil. There are badly run ones, and they've got to be fixed. But the fact is, I've heard that, the vet, that these hospitals are some of the gold standard for the medical industry. Well, I think I don't. I think you have selective hearing. No, I don't have selective hearing. It's, okay. I know believe it's a me, skill, if anybody but, uh, here has one-way hearing, it's Phil Meyer. Yeah, well... <laughs> You know, uh, why yeah. does the Congress uh, have uh, uh, let Jack, let Jack, uh, what? The Congress has a 13 percent approval rating. Well, why, because why because because 13 percent of Americans time. because 13 percent of Americans are stupid. Jack, you know, have you ever true. noticed the fact that uh, we never have this kind of debate about how come the government always finds money for the military? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. ever, ever noticed that game? You yeah. know. That's what they're supposed to do. Who says so? Do you know uh, we have the most the, expensive the, military uh, the budget fathers. in the world? Do you, we, we, have a, we have a military budget that is five times larger than the second country in military budgets. Okay? So we overspend. We've made it an industry and made people rich because of yeah, it. Yeah, what we have is we've got a Congress that, uh, that continually uh, brings pork out in order to uh, uh, sell you a $700 hammer or a $1,000 toilet seat. And, but, and I know that Renee has one of those $1,000 toilet seats. I uh, do. And which, it gives 52 orgasm, percent so of you your tax dollar. 52, hey, Renee, hold on a second. I, I got to say this. 52 percent of your tax dollar goes to the military. Okay. Yeah, what? but there's a lot more than that. There's retirement. There's there's obligations that uh, you know we've it's signed all on. It's all fucking for. bullshit. Let's take care of the homeland first. Okay. Let's care about no. each other first. Let's stop bombing other people or actually girding for a war that's never going to happen. Anyway, gotta go. Hey, Scott's gone. What happened to Scott? The Secret no, Square. Back. Scott was our Secret Square for tonight. <laughs> I didn't want to yell at Phil, so I left. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Scott. Hey, Scott, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you, Jack. I know you got to go because you got to do a show here in about a minute and a half. Yeah, we're going to continue on with the same level of bullshit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Thanks to I Jeff. I got to walk my dog. And thanks to Ray. Ray, you were very quiet. You were very quiet tonight, Ray. Well, I, I gotta. My wife says I'm getting too upset about this, so I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to laugh it off. Yeah. 
Renee, well, thank you so, so much for calling tonight. Is, there's two guys on this show that their have said have, had to have their wives say that. Yeah. So, oh, really? Yeah. yeah so you're, you're not alone. Okay. You're and not alone. and Kevin, I, I, thank, you. thank you, and of course Phil, you know, thank you. What? That's why I use jokes because I don't get upset. Yeah, but, but they're not jokes unless people well, laugh at them. Anyway, everybody, give a big round of a wave goodbye uh, to the audience out there so they can see your shining little faces. And I hope we see you tomorrow night uh, with, the same, uh, with the same stuff here. Boy, they, we, they all hung up fast. Wow. Uh, they just uh, went all the way. Well, uh, anyway, uh, next, uh, over most of the same gab net, uh, we will be having uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, intersection. Uh, with uh, with the self same Jack Bishop we saw a few moments ago, and then after that at uh, one o'clock in the morning it's Connections, uh, great show you should listen to it, uh, and it's on at the one o'clock Eastern Daylight Time tomorrow night, seven at nine thirty Eastern Daylight Time. Damian Chaplin and the Exchange. I'll be here tomorrow night uh, with her by the way at uh, ten o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. And as always, if same time, same station in life, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye. Bye-bye.